He may be wounded and a little weary, but Dink, the baby loggerhead turtle, is lucky to be alive. He and adult loggerhead James are currently being rehabilitated at this Cornish Aquarium. They're among more than a dozen endangered turtles that have been stranded on the UK shores recently. Most of them have died. When they finally arrive here on our shores, they've already travelled a long way and they're in a very bad condition. They pro probably haven't been feeding for a long time and uh, unable to swim against the currents. And when they get in close to the shore, we've had some very large swells, so um, it's not surprising they're, they're getting quite badly damaged and rolled around. One of the turtles was washed up on Blackrock Beach here in Cornwall, the other in neighbouring Devon. Here, of course, the waters are much colder and rougher than their natural habitat. Conservationists are concerned that wild weather may be responsible for the influx. We generally see these small loggerhead turtles uh, year through, but during the winter from November to March we see a very large increase. And we think that probably has something to do with water temperature and that because they're so young they don't deal with being chilled quite so well. Okay, so what we're looking at here are a range of species that we've seen um, at post-mortem here at the Institute over the last few years. Um, Rob Deville carries out post-mortems to try to find out crucial information about how the turtles died. He had this advice for anyone who comes across a stranded turtle on the beach. When turtles go into cold shock, they don't move very much, so the animal you find on the beach you think is dead may not actually be. So please call the relevant authorities. Um, if it is a live animal, um, someone will come to, to pick it up and take it to a rehabilitation centre. And if it's a dead one, then someone will come and retrieve it for our post-mortem investigations because we can then use that to try and investigate the animals uh, more thoroughly. They are so hard to study in the wild that really we need as much information about them as possible. If James and Dink make a full recovery, they'll be flown to a rescue centre in the Canary Islands. And with more endangered turtles expected to wash up on our shores over the coming weeks, conservationists are urging people to report any sightings because there may still be a chance to save them. Catherine Jacobs, Sky News.